day everyone welcome to another episode of learning with teacher Trissel. for today's topic we will discuss the component physical education and our topic is all about overweight versus obesity and our goal for today's topic is for you to be able to determine the risk factors related to lifestyle diseases such as obesity diabetes and heart diseases in this lesson you'll be able to discover the health consequences of excessive body weight and common eating disorders that individuals might develop once we start taking for granted our health as our dear learners you are expected to build on awareness and realize the importance of having and maintaining a healthy lifestyle overweight versus obesity overweight and obesity are not the same thing many overweight people who weigh about 10 to 20 pounds over the recommended weight are not obese both are used to identify people who are at risk for health problems from having too much body fat however the term obese generally means a much higher, greater amount of body fat than overweight. Now that we know the difference between obese and overweight, let us discuss the health consequences of having an excessive body weight. High blood pressure. This is a common condition in which the long-term force of the blood against your artery walls is high enough that it may eventually cause health problems such as heart diseases. Blood pressure is determined both by the amount of blood your heart pumps and the amount of resistance to blood flow in your arteries. The more blood your heart pumps and the narrower your arteries, the higher your blood pressure is. Type 2 Diabetes this occurs when the body doesn't produce enough insulin to function properly or the body cells react to insulin. This means glucose stays in the blood and isn't used as fuel for energy. Type 2 diabetes is often associated with obesity and tends to be diagnosed in older people. Heart failure, are sometimes known as congestive heart failure, occurs when your heart muscle doesn't pump blood as well as it should. Certain conditions such as narrowed arteries in your heart or high blood pressure gradually leave your heart too weak or stiff to feel and pump efficiently. One way to prevent heart failure is to prevent and control conditions that cause heart failure such as coronary artery diseases, high blood pressure, diabetes, or obesity. Sleep apnea is a potentially serious sleep disorder in which breathing repeatedly stops and starts. If you snore loudly and feel tired even after a full night's sleep, you might have sleep apnea. And one main type of sleep apnea is what we call the obstructive sleep apnea. This is the more common that occurs when throat muscles relax. Next health consequence is the poor female reproductive health, psychological disorder, shortened life expectancy, and decrease of quality life. Gallbladder diseases and stroke. A stroke occurs when the blood supply to part of your brain is interrupted or reduce preventing brain tissue from getting oxygen and nutrients. Brain cells begin to die in minutes. A stroke is medical emergency and prompt treatment is crucial. Early action can reduce brain damage and other complications. Now that we're done discussing the health consequences on having an excessive body weight, let us proceed with eating disorders. Eating disorders are illnesses that involve crucial disturbances 
in eating behaviors through to stem from some environmental pressures. It is a mental disorder defined by abnormal eating habits that negatively affect a person's physical or mental health. Let us go to the types of eating disorders. So we got four, anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, binge eating, and then emotional eating. Anorexia nervosa. This is an eating disorder that is characterized by self-imposed starvation to lose and maintain very low body weight due to false distorted perception of being fat. Bulimia nervosa is a serious eating disorder. This is also life-threatening. People with bulimia tend to binge eat large amounts of food with loss of control over the eating. To get rid of the calories and prevent weight gain, people with bulimia may use this different methods. methods are usually unhealthy. Example, regularly self-induced vomiting, fasting, strict dieting, or excessive exercise. Binge eating. It is characterized by uncontrollable episodes of eating excessive amounts of food within a relatively short time. It is commonly characterized by compulsive overeating or consuming abnormal amounts of food while feeling unable to stop and lose control. Binge eating episodes are typically classified as an occurring on average a minimum of twice per week for a duration of six months. And the last one is emotional eating. This is the consumption of large quantities of food to suppress negative emotion. People refer to emotional eating as eating to cope up with negative emotions. In these situations, emotional eating can be considered a form of disordered eating, which is defined as an increase in food intake in response to negative emotions. Now that we're done with the different eating disorders, let us discuss the basic food groups. So we got Go, Grow, and Glow. Go Foods give our body heat and energy foods rich in carbohydrates and starchy foods such as rice corn bread oatmeal and foods rich in sugar such as cakes and ice creams are also considered go foods grow foods foods that repairs and build our body cells and tissues and these foods are rich in protein Examples of which are meat and meat products, eggs, milk, fishes, shrimps, crabs, beans, and peanuts. The last group is Glow Foods. This regulates and protects our body and they are rich in vitamins and minerals. Examples are bananas, apple, oranges, malunggay, we also have cheese avocado, and a lot more. For our activity, you will be creating a wellness plate. Make your own wellness plate by applying the principles of Movaba, moderation in serving portions, variety of food types, and balance of food types. Be creative in making your own plate. Take a photo of each plate, starting off with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Please take note that you can also cut out pictures found in magazines or newspapers. Do you have any questions? If you don't have any questions, let us now proceed with your assessment. Question number one. What do we call a mental disorder defined by abnormal eating habits that negatively affect a person's physical or mental health? Question number two. 
what food group repairs and build our body cells and tissues? Question number three. What eating disorder is characterized by self-imposed starvation? Question number four. What food group gives our body heat and energy? Question number five. What eating disorder refers to an increase in food intake in response to negative emotions? Congratulations everyone! Almost everyone got a perfect score in our assessment. We have reached the end of our lesson. Once again, this is Teacher Giselle reminding everyone to strictly follow the health protocols and God bless us all. This video is an instructional aid to our grade 10 MAPE learners. Thank you for watching and I hope that you learned something. Always remember that quality matters, learning continues, and that MAPE knows. See you on the next episode.